Hello again and welcome to a late year a Michigan Military Technical and Historical Society Museum uh, vehicle restoration uh, video. <clears throat> it's uh, Thanksgiving weekend here in Michigan, it's starting to get a little cold, but it hasn't been too bad, so I decided to take advantage of our the day off and come out here in, in the garage for a little while and take a start kind of messing around with our Model T. Uh, the frame, as you can see, the frame came back from... Uh, media blast uh, dropped the frame uh, the running boards the apron the firewall off up here at George's collision in East Point uh, and George uh, blasted it for me and then he put a coat of satin black on it <clears throat> so uh, it won't rust over the winter uh, I normally do the paint work myself but with it being the, the, this cold and I just had him spray some satin black on it just uh so I could get it done. It's just too cold, and it's too cold in this garage to paint right now, and and it just seems simpler. But I, and I wanted to get this frame out, and, uh, and so I could actually get you know rolling on this project. Kind of motivated with it. It's, I'm having fun with it. So you can kind of see I uh, kind of came here out here today and started mocking things up uh, down here. The the front axle uh, I rebuilt earlier. Uh, before the weather got cold and had it sitting over here on the shelf. <clears throat> the, uh, the first Model T frame that we bought uh, came with this front axle uh, that had already been sandblasted and uh, somebody, they quoted it with POR15. Uh, it appears to be a, a new leaf spring that came with it and all the all this hardware was new. So, uh, but they had put it together backwards, which is, uh, so I had to take it apart and kind of fix it up a little bit and they, there was no steering on it so I had to <clears throat> uh, we took the steering most of these steering components came off of the tw 1923 frame uh, the second Model T that we bought so it's kind of cool uh, the uh, you have these little witness marks here from uh, where they chuck these things up in the lathe and you can put these in back because this is how they built in the uh, the caster so these actually can be installed backwards. You can kind of see how that witness mark is kind of favoring, is pointed to the back, yeah, right here. Yeah, so if you put the, if you flip this around, your caster would be really wonky, and this thing would be virtually undrivable. <clears throat> so uh, it's one of the Model T things that I've learned is that you have to pay attention to how you put those spring mounts in. Uh, but we cleaned up. Uh, we cleaned up the the tie rod and the drag link and the pitman arm. Uh, you know, between the first the first part batch of Model T parts that we bought and uh, the second Model T frame, we picked out the the least worn out uh, stuff and put it together. And uh, we ordered new king pins and you know, rebush these uh, put put new bushings in the in the spindles, cleaned them all up. And have those put on uh, so this stuff is all pretty pretty nice uh, at the various uh, model t estate sales i went to this uh, over this summer and fall i picked up a couple of these front pieces here uh, the, the lower grill uh, this was the best of them and we sandblasted that one and it was the first thing that we put the olive drab paint on just to kind of give us some motivation got the uh Firewall mocked up just you know so we can kind of start seeing how things are gonna fall. <clears throat> this is the uh the parking brake assembly which we took uh, we took uh, completely apart and rebuilt, put a new pawl in it, put some new bushings in it. Yeah. Works uh you know it now locks and you have a positive, fairly positive ratchet, which is good. Uh, again, this is a Remember, this is a 1923 frame that we're using, and we are attempting to replicate a a 1917 uh, military vehicle that we have some photographs of. Uh, so we uh, found this. Uh, this is a slightly earlier earlier coil box. Uh, you know, again, obviously the the coil box w will need to be completely redone. This is just the shell of it. It's just sort of mocking things up right now so I can get an idea of what we have and what we don't have. 
Again, you know, if we have a couple sets of running boards we picked up over the summer from these various estate sales. This is the best set. Uh, I've got these sitting on here. I've got, I ordered a set of the wood blocks from, uh, I think, uh, Snyder's or, or, or Lang's or one of the, one of the suppliers. So we got the, got those kind of mocked up. Uh, they came up, they cleaned up quite well with the, at George's. They look pretty decent. Uh, I think the one's got a little bit of rust on the edge that we'll have to address. We'll do that in the spring when it warms up. And then this one here, this, this apron has got some, some wangs in it. So uh, we'll have to get the panel beater's bag out and try to massage that back into shape. <clears throat> you know, got the uh, rear spring moss that we sandblasted and, and painted just sort of on the frame so I don't lose them. Uh, again, a 1923 battery box would not be in a, the 1917, but I, I intend to put the electric start back in just, you know, just since we intend to use this for parades and events, it'd just be simpler to have electric start in it. So we are, we are making the concession. We're going with the 1923 uh, battery style battery box, and then the, the engine, when it comes back, will be set up with electric start. <clears throat> uh, this apron over here is in actually really nice shape. Uh, there's a couple little dings in it that we'll probably massage out of it. And this this running board is like super nice. So uh, that's pretty much ready to go. You can hear, you can see the uh, uh, parking brake. Brand new Paul in there and all new return springs and everything. Got it all cleaned up. Got the... Uh, Replaced the return spring that's always broken on these, riveted that in. So that's looking pretty decent. <clears throat> so, I mean, that's pretty much where we're going to get to in, I believe, this winter. Uh, the engine transmission is, is out being rebuilt. Uh, I need to take these wheels over There's a to the wheel right and have the wheels redone. Uh, I'm hoping to do that sometime this winter. Uh, drive them over to the... There's a place in Ohio that, that a lot of guys around here use for Model T wheels. going to load these in the truck and drive them over there and, and uh, see if we can get five nice wheels back that we can use. Or actually, four nice wheels we have, and then, and then obviously we'll have five rims, or at least five rims with tires on them, it might, depending on how many spares I decide to put on this thing. Uh, looking at the pictures, it looked like it ran at least one spare. Uh, but for the military vehicles, I, we might have an extra spare on it. Uh, we have a bunch of wheels, uh, you know, rims kicking around, and there's some over there. So we have plenty of rims, and we're going to hopefully get four nice wheels out of this mess. <clears throat> uh, rear axle is sitting over here. I haven't gotten, I've started taking it apart. Got the fluid drained out of it. We got the uh, torque tube. Started taking the torque tube apart. And, uh, and that's pretty much where we're at on that. It need to start the uh, a lot of the, the uh, parking brake pawls are are really worn out. And I'm gonna have to start ordering some parts. Is really the next step is gets a, get the parts ordered up so we can blow this thing apart, clean it, paint it, and put it back together. So that's well, that will go here, obviously. And so that's just wanted to give you all a. Let me walk over here without tripping over this axle. Just give you a, a shot from the back side here. So that's kind of where we're at with the, our Model T project. Uh, hopefully uh, if the weather continues to be mild here and we have, they're saying we're supposed to have a mild winter, so maybe I'll be able to get out here and get some work done. Uh, hopefully get this rear end rebuilt and underneath the car. And that way when the engine returns in the spring, uh, we can put that in and and uh, hopefully have some tires and wheels and be able to have at least a roller and then start working on the body. So I guess uh, that's where we're going to leave it off for today. So again, uh, if you want to contribute to the cause, uh, M-I-M-T-H-S uh, dot org is the uh, museum's website. Uh, we have our PayPal donation site set up. If you want to send money via PayPal, just send it to M-I-M-T-H-S at M-I-M-T-H-S dot org. Uh, be sure to follow us and check out our other videos. And uh, 
with that, everybody have a, a good day and a good holiday season.